Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy. I know that I've been gone for a while and I'm back and, you know, trying to roll out these videos for you all. Today we have an amazing haul. You guys know if you follow me on Instagram, it's Marcmello. If you don't know, I'll link that down below. Um, I was I was about to say I was over in Greece, but I was over in Paris or France. Then I um, took a flight down to the south of France, Nice, the French Riviera, and I had an amazing time. And I have some fragrances from my trip. Y'all already know every time I go on a vacation, I try to buy a fragrance just so that it could be nostalgic, give me great scent memories of the vacation that I've gone on. And I'm just happy to be able to share these with you guys. When I hopped off the plane, I went back to work that day. I've been at work for five days and now I have a day off and I am giving y'all a couple videos. I got a film, I completely miss YouTube. I miss all the engagement from every single person. You know, we're always talking on Instagram and I try to, you know, get a couple DMs every now and then, but I'm, I completely miss you all. So without further ado, if you are interested in this fragrance haul, uh, international and domestic please continue to watch like comment subscribe turn on those notification bells i miss you and uh, let me know what you think about these fragrances that i have today if you're even interested in some of the ones that i have or if you have them all right so without further ado y'all let's get down to this fragrance haul i was trying to decide which ones i'm going to do first but uh we'll mix it up a little bit i completely miss every single one of you guys you know like i said i miss the chatting with you all um over here on youtube and i gotta catch up on a lot of messages as well we did a lot of ripping and running over in paris this was a very special trip for me um this was my daughter's my eldest daughter's this was her very first passport stamp um i have a younger daughter she's gone to because she was so young you know my eldest daughter was married with kids um so she was a little busy you know of course she had a little time off so i'm like hey you know let's go let's go on let's go get your first passport stamp girl so um you know we had an amazing time she's a pastry chef and she wanted to go over to paris she's been telling me that for the past seven years so i had the pleasure of taking my daughter to get her very first passport stamp over in paris and we spent some time in nice on the beach if you miss that if you don't have Instagram, go create a ghost following page, y'all. Um, watch my highlights. I put them in my story so that people can go back and look at my highlights. Um, you know, I get a little bit of information about the vacations that I've gone on. And if you would like to go on those vacations as well, DM me if you have questions, okay? Uh, but yeah, we had an amazing time. We literally ate, y'all, five to six pastries every single morning. And yes, we didn't complete we didn't finish all of them, but for the most part we did. You know, we went to a different patisserie every single morning. Um, yes, the French are very rude, but I know it's the culture. Um, you know, so we had to adjust a little bit our attitudes as well. But you know, overall we had an amazing time, y'all. So without further ado, let's get into the first fragrance. Um, I don't know if I put this in a haul or not, but I'm absolutely loving this fragrance. I took a decant with me over over to um uh, over to France I did wear it in Nice um and I bought my sister a bottle she has a bottle so I have a bottle myself and this is Trajan people always say this I've had this for a while y'all for the past maybe I've, I've worn the decants for about maybe three four months about four months and then I purchased this fragrance about two months ago I just never put it in a haul love this I love this more than B540 this smells like Beja Flor from um, Sol de Janeiro, the lotion. It also reminds you of Baccarat Rouge 540 with more of a citrusy scent on top. You get some blood orange, you get some bergamot, um, Calabrian bergamot, you get some Amalfi lemon in here. This is just, you get some ambergris, some saffron. This is a gorgeous fragrance. This will constantly be in my collection. I don't even know if I'll wear my Baccarat Rouge 540 because I have Trajan. I am always reaching for this. Unisex, amazing summer scent, amazing performance, longevity, all of that, y'all. Get your nose on Trajan. It's stunning, okay? Um, yeah, it's beautiful. I can't say enough about this fragrance. 
All right, so the next one we're gonna get into is one that um, recently came out. I think it came out last week. Um, and I just ordered it and I got it within like a couple days. And this is Alien. Everybody knows that I, I, well, everybody don't know, but I do love Alien, the beautiful jasmine, the floral notes, you know, the vanilla scent in there, but it has a stunning jasmine, y'all. So this one is a little jasmine heavy for about 15 minutes. And this is Alien Goddess Intense. I did smell Alien Goddess, but I wasn't too like hyped or happy about Alien Goddess. It's a nice fragrance, really pretty, great for the summer, super feminine. Feminine, um, the longevity of performance is about maybe four to six hours. This one right here um, on my skin, this is Alien Goddess Intense absolutely love it um a beautiful jasmine jasmine tea there's some powdery and creamy coconut in here there's some vanilla in here y'all there's some um there's some what else is in here y'all there's some benzoin in here but mainly you pretty you really get a very tropical very upscale very dress up type scent um you can wear whatever you want to wear when you want to wear it but this is definitely a beautiful, sophisticated, sexy, a sassy fragrance. And just like um, the original Alien, it gives you all of that. I absolutely love it. It doesn't have a heady jasmine inside. It's a really tamed, uh, muted, beautiful jasmine, very sophisticated. But you know what I smell in this fragrance? And you know what it's giving me? It's giving me tiari flower. It's giving me ylang ylang. It's giving me coconut. It reminds me of a golden bright sun with a little bit of sweetness, powderiness. I wore this to work the other day. And towards the end of the shift, like 10 hours later, I still smell this on my hand. I was like, who's eating donuts? I smell glazed donuts. Y'all, I was smelling my own hand. This was giving me like powdery glazed donuts or something. I think it's the vanilla, the coconut, and the, the tea, the jasmine, all of that mixed together that gives you a beautiful sweetness. I love this, y'all. This is my favorite Alien so far. I do love the original. I have the Alien Absolute and I have the Alien Mirage. Um, y'all, this is bomb.com and I'm so, I only got the 60 ml. Um, and y'all, I've been spraying this like crazy. I've worn it three times already and um, it's stunning. I love this stuff and uh, I really wish I would have gotten the large bottle. I could really see myself finishing half of this bottle uh, by the end of the summer, y'all. It's just that good. Definitely vacation in a bottle. Get you some, y'all. Get it, ladies. If you love Alien, you're going to absolutely fall in love with this one. So the next one we have is Almaz. And I actually did not bring the fragrance with me. It's on my stand. Sorry, y'all. But anyway, I'm going to talk about this fragrance very briefly. I love this fragrance. A lot of people say it doesn't have the best longevity on here. And this is by the House of Kajal. Um, I love Lamar. I love Dahab. So I decided to get Almaz because I love a great note of black currant. There's black currant. There's raspberry. There's orris in here. Um... There's a uh, bergamot in here. There's lemon in here. There's Turkish rose in here. I get a really juicy, fruity fragrance that gets powdery about maybe 15, 20 minutes into um, the dry down of the fragrance. I love it. Now, the longevity for me on my clothes, it was about six hours. I did spray about 12 sprays. On my skin, it was about maybe three to four hours. I don't mind. This fragrance is very projecting in the opening. Um, to me, it's almost beast mode, but the longevity, of course, it could be better. But yeah, overspray on, on your clothes, take a decant. The fragrance is really juicy. It's powdery. It's amazing for the summer. And I think you can really wear this into the fall and the winter as well. I love, love, love a good black currant note. I love Atara. That has a juicy black currant note by, my, um, by Michael Malal London. Atara is amazing y'all um i love all the sea line the sea fiore the sea intense they have beautiful black currant notes in it as well so if you love a good black currant note you're gonna love um Asmal, Al almaz Asmal. what is it y'all um you're gonna love almaz by kajal didn't bring the bottle, but you already know. If you follow me on Instagram, I have it. I showcased it there, y'all. Anyway, that's that, okay? <laughs> um, uh, the next one I picked up on the first day of my day in Paris, my vacation in Paris. 
um, I saw a beautiful boutique and I think that boutique has been there since 1911. It's stunning. Of course, I'm pretty sure it's like refurbished and all of that, but it was a beautiful floral boutique. It was the amazing Guerlain boutique. How could I not purchase a fragrance from the amazing Guerlain boutique, y'all? I walked in there and I was just like, ah. I was like in heaven. Um, it smelled so good. It was cool. It was beautiful. They were very personable. Like I loved everything about that boutique. I sniffed fragrances for over two hours while I was on Chanzelise. Oh, the, the Guerlain boutique that I went to, it's on Chanzelise in Paris, France. So um, I ended up purchasing, I wanted to get Angelique Noir. I had it before, but I also have the dupe from the House of Juliana Parfums. I love Juliana Parfums, Angelique Noir, a little better than the original Guerlain because it's giving me more vanilla. It's giving me a little more greenness. It's giving me a little bit more of all of it, y'all. Um, so I ended up getting rid of, and I didn't know what I had back then, the original Angelique Noir, and I kept my uh, Juliana Parfums Red Carpet Affair. That's what the name is called. Um, so if you don't have Red Carpet Foot, Red Carpet Affair, Angelique Noir is a little pricey. Um, then go over to uh, go over to the House of Juliana Parfums and order Red Carpet Affair. Y'all, the vanilla in there is amazing. But anyway, I did. I picked it up. I was about to purchase it. I said, it doesn't make sense for me to purchase this fragrance because I have Red Carpet Affair uh, by Juliana Parfums and I love it so much better than the original, the first bottle that I had of Angelique Noir. Well, y'all, um, I ended up purchasing because it was giving me um, almondy, cherry, smoothness, uh, just beautiful sophistication. I ended up purchasing Rose Sherry. I think it's pronounced, but it's Rose. It sounds like, it smells like cherry, y'all, but it's called Rose Sherry. Loved it. I got my name engraved. The bottle's a little, it's marked up. I got uh, Marshmello Paris 2022 on the back. Um, I chose this, uh, threading or yarn and the red top y'all this is a 200 ml bottle and for some reason it's cheaper over in Paris than it is online but y'all this is gorgeous and tax-free okay um this is a gorgeous scent y'all absolutely love it I definitely get the rose you know, there's a uh, Dalmacina rose in here. There's rose centifolia in here. You get some almondy. I don't even want to spray it. That's how precious this juice is. You get some almond notes in here. You get a little bit of a cherry scent in here, like a white cherry. I love me some white cherries, y'all. I am absolutely obsessed with this. Um, it's powdery. Um, when I got in the car and I had this on one day, my daughter was like, what's that that smell like baby powder? So initially she got baby powder, but then it turned into like a powdery almond scent, y'all. Absolutely love this. I was like, it don't smell like baby powder. Excuse me. Um, this is more than that. So, but love it. Rosherie, y'all divine okay luxurious okay love this stuff so the next one we're going to talk about is one that i have been trying to find and i actually was looking for a fragrance this fragrance for for me and for someone else and this is by the house of dolce and gabbana i did not find this fragrance the entire time on my trip and then when i was on my way home i was still in nice running to get to the airplane because um i forgot we won't get into why we were held up um i saw a i had like five minutes y'all before boarding um i saw a dolce and gabbana store and i said oh my gosh right before i get on a plane to nice to go over to uh canada Boom, a Dolce & Gabbana store. So um, guess what, y'all? I was looking for two of these, but he only had one. I said, when I saw this Dolce & Gabbana pineapple fragrance, I started jumping up and down. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's here. I told my daughter, let me run in the store. Um, you go get you some water and then I'll meet you at, uh, for boarding at the plane. And um, he was like, oh my gosh, yeah, I have it. I said, okay, can I get two of these? He said, oh, um, okay. He went to the back of the store. It was a very small store, small boutique. Um, he brought out one. I was like, you don't have two? He was like, no, I only have one. I was like, oh my gosh. 
gosh, I was like, I need to. Uh, but you know, I spoke with a person and they understood. Uh, but this is the Dolce & Gabbana Pineapple Fragrance. I should have purchased this when I saw it on Fragrance Buy almost two years ago. And I did it because they had it and I let it sit and I didn't get it. But anyway, um, putting your email on Fragrance Buy, y'all. So amazing pineapple fragrance, y'all. There's some pineapple. There's some tobacco. There's some woodiness in here. I think there's some lemon in here as well. Um, this is a 150 ml bottle and absolutely love it. There's mandarin, there's jasmine, vanilla, there's some ambergris, there's some orchid. This is a very bright, you can get the orchid in here. It's very fresh, but you also get some woodiness and you get a little bit of, smells like a white tobacco scent in here. I absolutely love this fragrance. If I see another bottle, I will purchase another bottle of this scent, okay? Uh, but yeah, I love this and you know, the only thing that breaks my heart about this one is that I wasn't able to get a second bottle to give it to the person uh, that wanted it as well. But anyway, we're going to find you your fragrance, okay? Um, and uh, that's it, though. So this is Dolce & Gabbana, uh, and this is from the Fruit Collection, and this is Pineapple. Y'all, I cherish that fragrance. So let's talk about one that was a cheapie for me. I think Jay, um, I haven't seen Jay in a while. I have to go to her page um, to check if she's been posting videos. You know how the algorithm is, y'all. So this, um, I heard this from Jay, and this is Far, I think it's Fakar, Fakar by Latafa. Um, this is a very fruity, powdery fragrance. And you know what this fragrance smells like? It smells like Linter D Givenchy. It smells just like the Linter D Givenchy parfum. It doesn't smell like the um, the Intense because the Intense has the sesame note in there. It doesn't smell like the Rouge. I think the one in the red bottle, I think it's called the Rouge. Um, that one has a little bit of blood orange in there. I think it has pimento in there, a little spicy, but I love both of those. But um, most likely I will not be holding on to this. I wanted to try it. I think it was about $20. 20, no more than $30, but it's a beautiful fragrance. Um, if you love Linterdy and you ran out of that, then you might want to get this Fakar by Latafa. Um, it's a beautiful fragrance, but you know, yeah, I don't see myself reaching for this because, you know, I have uh, the Linterdy, the Intense, and the one in the red bottle. Those are my two favorite. I got rid of the EDT and the EDP because I knew that I wasn't going to wear them. But y'all, this is pretty. This almost smells like a bubblegummy tuberose as well, but a little bit powdery, a little sweeter than the Linter D, um, EDP, and the EDT. But they all smell alike, y'all. All right, so the next one we're going to talk about is one that I am obsessed with, and I love a good tea fragrance, y'all. And this is by the House of Ducita. I have uh, the Chiang Mai one that I really don't talk about, and I really don't wear it as well because it's smoky. I do love the smokiness and the tobacco in there, but, you know, I don't know. It might be in a declutter, okay? So anyway, uh, but it's a very beautiful fragrance. So no, it's not going to be in a declutter. I just have to figure out when to wear it. When is the best time for me to get the best performance, projection, scent, all of that out of it? So this is Ducita Anamkara. Y'all, this fragrance is bomb.com oh wait y'all this is so good so um this is a 50 ml i did order this from lucky scents um i also ordered vacation by vacation i did a review on instagram it's a really beautiful tropical pina colada banana-esque scent it's a little powdery makeup smelling to me but it's very tropical um it's not my malibu you know smelling like a pina colada that's the best pina colada fragrance by um simone andrioli malibu is the best um but it's nice but it's it's a little soft for me i do love soft but i still want to get an amazing scent out of the fragrance and i wasn't getting enough from vacation but it's a nice if you like light um, tropical smelling fragrances, then you'll like Vacation by Vacation. I also had the pleasure of smelling um, Rose Centifolia. It's a very green unisex rose. Not for me. Smells like uh, MFK's A La Rose, but slightly greener. Um, I also got a chance to smell, uh, what is it? Uh, Escapada Gourmand. It's nice. It's not a groundbreaking vanilla. Um, I do get a little bit of a makeup-y scent from that as well, 
but you know, it's a sh it's sugary, it's vanilla, it's sweet, it's creamy, it's nice. But do I need another vanilla scent, Escapada Gourmand? Because you know that fragrance is going around in Fragcom. Um, it's nice, but no, I love Tijolta better. I love Mazzolari's uh, Vanilla better. It, it kind of reminds me of that, but it's not as strong as Mazzolari's Vanilla because I really get the caramel, the orchid, and the vanilla from Mazzolari's Vanilla. It's a bit oily. So I do rub it in on my skin, but I love that fragrance. I have Juicette, uh Accident a la Vini. That's an amazing vanilla fragrance. So yeah, I'm not going to get the Escapada, Escapade Gourmand. Um, it's nice, but you know, there's nothing special to me about that fragrance. But anyway, back to Ducita. So in Ducita, it's gorgeous, y'all. You got to get your nose on this, sample this. You have your... Um, uh, tun, it's called Tuni, Tunisan, Tunsani, orange blossom, some type of orange blossom. You have some tuberose, some peach in here. You have your tea, jasmine, sandbag, blood orange, vanilla. You got some woody notes. You got some rose in here. Y'all, this is an egg straight, okay? Do see to put two feet in this fragrance, and I absolutely love it. You get that powdery, it's reminiscent of um Nishane's uh 100 silent ways but it's much stronger it's much more concentrated you get a beautiful tea note on top of that but you do get like an orange blossomy powdery tuberose y'all it's woody it's smoky it smells like there's some tobacco in here i love this tea fragrance y'all this is probably like my second best tea fragrance or a, yeah i would say my second because i love gris charnel that's my number one i love flower bomb but this one is so much better than flower bomb actually this is in a class of its own because this is niche flower bomb is designer but i love flower bomb y'all but y'all ducita anamkara is stunning get your nose on this it's gorgeous definitely unisex but slightly feminine and the performance on there y'all 10 to 12 hours beast mode okay but love it spray light all right um so the next one we have is i ordered these from um sorry yeah i gotta pull my strap up um i ordered these from i think from max aroma um and i heard they weren't going to be selling them i love vani and sensi or vani incense i have the paradise one or the lime something um and i do wear that one i wore that one last summer but i love the vani incense um and this is atelier cologne i purchased the orange sanguine um i got clementine california i've had these for about a month now and i just they've just been sitting on the side so now it's time for me to you know I said I need to do this review to put all these fragrances away, y'all. So, um, and I got Pomelo Paradise. I think out of all of them that I can remember, I love Pomelo Paradise because I love a good grapefruit note and uh, a fragrance. So let's go ahead and open these babies up. This is the 100 ml. These were like, I think half off um, at Max Aroma. So this is Pomelo Paradise, y'all. The juice is concentrated go ahead i don't have anything on my hand let's go ahead and spray this so yeah it's good it do it does remind me of the um aqua allegorious fragrance uh pamp pamp but pamp gives me a little more sweetness this one gives me pamp gives me a little more grapefruit sweet pink grapefruit uh flesh this gives me a little bit of the yellow grapefruit skin you know but you get the sweetness as well all around it gives me grapefruit juice with sugar inside okay it's gorgeous i love it and i love pamplaloon as well by aqua allegoria um i think this one may last a little bit longer than pamplaloon about six hours uh pamplaloon lasts me about four hours but i love the fragrance y'all um so in here you have pink grapefruit you have rose mint orange blossom iris and black currant so you definitely get a little bit of that minty note that makes it a little fresh. I get the juicy black currant. You know, I get a little bit of a floral note, like a pink rose. You know, but you definitely get off top and all the way through, you get a beautiful note of, it says pink grapefruit, but I'm getting a yellow sweet grapefruit. Um, 
But y'all, it's gorgeous, okay? Get your nose on it. Uh, the next one we have is Orange Sanguine. I heard so much about this. And I heard that this fragrance was gonna be discontinued, but y'all, I don't know. So anyway, this is Orange Sanguine. When I smelled this, um, it, gave me, it gave me uh a little bit of orange mandarin um spiciness let's go ahead and spray this love this one as well so in orange sanguine um you have your blood orange mandarin orange geranium you have some jasmine tonka and you have some pepper i think it's black pepper but y'all um this is definitely unisex you know i get the black pepper i get the citruses you get some jasmine in here. Did I say ja I'm definitely getting jasmine in here. Yeah. You get jasmine and you probably get a little for the tonka bean. You get a little bit of powderiness in the dry down. But yeah, I love orange sanguine, you know. Um, yeah, it doesn't really remind me of the aqua allegorias. The one that smells like afternoon swim that I absolutely love. Um, it has clementine, orange, like everything. I can't even think, y'all. Let me tell you something. I just did a 13-hour shift, y'all, and I said I need to get this content out. I completely miss YouTube. My heart was longing for YouTube, so I came home after my hectic shift. I popped a Motrin because I had a little bit of a headache. Um, I didn't get to make me some tea. I was about to make me some tea, and I said, you know what? Let me hop in the shower, shine my little face up, and, you know, let me give the people what they want, y'all. So, um, anyway, I am doing a video. I just did a 13 hour shift, night shift, may I add, and I'm giving you guys some content, okay? Um, so anyway, I absolutely love Orange Sanguine. It's a beautiful, spicy uh, orange scent, a little bit of woodiness. You get a little bit of powderiness, like I said, you get some spiciness. But absolutely love it. Definitely unisex. Um, it's a little sweet, uh, but it's unisex. So, you know, uh, get into it. So the next one we have is Clementine, California. So I might do a haul. I'm going to wear these over the summer. Not a haul. I'm going to do a... Um, a vid on my atelier fragrances y'all um love this color bottle so gorgeous i love the leather tops on here so let's go ahead and spray uh clementine california you know i'm a california girl so i had to get it so this is fresh this is the freshest one out of all of them and i'm getting a scent of lemon in here as well very bright i'm getting like a floral note in here. This is really pretty, y'all. So in Clementine, California, you have Juniper Berry. That's where the freshness and the fruitiness is coming from. You have some basil in here. You have some anise pepper, Haitian vetiver, Clementine. Yeah, I love this. This is very smooth. I'm getting a little bit of creaminess as well. Yeah, I love this. I would say out of all of them, um, of course, I love Vanille. And scents more, you know, that one's gorgeous. Yeah, I'm gonna do a separate review on these and I'm, then I'm gonna rate these for you guys, okay? Uh, but I absolutely love all three of those. I love all five that I do have. Um, so the next one we're gonna talk about is one that I ordered from the House of Siaj. I have the two Wonder Womans, the different um, style caps. And then I have, I got her a man, y'all. Okay, I got a uh, Batman to go with Wonder Woman. I was like, Wonder Woman is lonely. You need a man, okay? Just like uh, your mama need a man, okay? <laughs> So anyway, Batman, beautiful Swarovski crystals on here. Y'all, I love this fragrance. It's really good. I did sample it when I ordered the other Wonder Woman. Um, and I, you know, they send you over the card samples. So I smelled that about three times. And I was like, you know what? I really like this. On top of it having a candy apple note inside. I was like, woo, this is going to be amazing. So, and I did smell the candy apple note on the card. So, um, and Batman, you have your candy apple, you have some pear leaf, you have some vetiver, you have some magnolia, tonka, jasmine, you have your oak moss, musk, patchouli, and a couple other notes, y'all. This is really, really good. You know, um, you really get the musk, patchouli, you get the oak moss, you get some powderiness. It smells like there's oris in here. You get that really a sweet, um, like a red candy apple note. Not the one with the nuts on top, but the hard candy apple. No, the one where you need a new set of teeth uh, after you bite into a couple of candy apples, y'all. 
This is good. This smells like a Fuji, like a red candy apple. Really delicious. It smells like there's oud in here as well, but a bait like a baby oud, you know? So I, I absolutely love this fragrance. I love Wonder Woman, that musky note, and I love this with the candy apple, the oud, the patchouli, the musk. Y'all, this is a beautiful fragrance, and I absolutely love it, and I love the fact that it's Batman, y'all. Um, so yeah, it, it just goes with Wonder Woman. So the next one we have, I already talked about Trajan. Um, the next one we have is Soul Mother. And this is by, uh, Savoir Faire. And he's, I'll, I've talked about his fragrances before. I'll try to link my Savoir Faire review down below. Um, uh, but I did buy travel, like six travel automizers from this company, um, he's a black perfumer. Um, this one, I'm still wearing it, you know. Um, when I smelled it, I sprayed it. This is called Soul Mother. So this is like a Soul Cafe Umi blend. Of, it's like an extension of Soul Cafe. It's a little musky. You know, you have all of the most similar notes is in Soul Cafe. Um, I do love Soul Cafe. Um, this one might be slightly, a little too musky, musky, musky for me, but I'm gonna let the juice sit and I'm gonna work on it. Um, there's jasmine, there's oud, there's peony, uh, there's patchouli, tobacco, there's coffee, Arabic coffee in here. There's black pepper and wood. Um, yeah, I get some woody notes. I get musk, I get oud, you know, um, I get some spiciness. But I don't get any peony, not that sweet, but it's very, very musky. So I'm gonna have to wear this a couple more times. I've worn it twice and we're gonna have to revisit this. But I do love the original Soul Cafe. I'm not sure about Soul Mother yet, y'all. So yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll revisit that fragrance. Uh, the next one is, um, I got Mercedes. This finally showed back up on Fragrantica. Nice fragrance, you know, um, spicy, uh, sweet, tobacco-y, woody, definitely unisex, leaning a little more on the, um, the masculine side. But, you know, I would wear this uh, because of the sweetness and the tobacco scent in there. Very light on the tobacco. Um, this fragrance is really good all around, y'all. And it's very inexpensive. I think I paid less than $40 for this. Um, the bottle's ugly. You know, I don't really like it. It looks like the Mercedes-Benz, you know, uh, the logo. Yeah, but, you know, I love the scent. Someone said it smelled like the Amen uh, by Terry, Terry Moogler. But yeah, I really love the scent. A little smoky, woody, spicy, tobacco-y, vanilla, you know, sweet, all that. So the next one was, well, well, we only have a couple more left. Um, let's talk about the samples that I bought. So I ended up buying Pacific Rock Moss. Love this fragrance. I've been sampling this fragrance. I had another decant. I wanted to purchase another one. I don't want a full bottle because I got a lot of fresh fragrances. Uh, but you know what I've fallen in love with and I refuse to buy a, a big bottle of it? Uh, but I did buy three travel automizers um, from Max Aroma, y'all, and I got these for like $20 each. So I actually, I think they, I paid $18 each. They were on sale or $20. But anyway, this is Creed Love and White, y'all. So I got three for less than, I think it was like $50 that I used my coupon. So I got 30 mLs for $50. You can buy, I think it's 75 mLs. Love and White is for almost $400. So this was a steal. I pretty much wore one of the decants over in um, France. You know, me and my daughter wore that just about um, every other day. But y'all, I mean, decants, 30 mLs, Creed Love and White versus a 75 ml bottle for three to $400. I pay less than $50. Y'all, I'm, I'm gonna stick with my decants, okay? Sometimes it just works out that way. Unless you want the aesthetics of the bottle, you can buy decants much cheaper than a full bottle, okay? Um, so the next one we're gonna talk about is um, uh, fragrances. These are fragrances actually from Nice and uh, from the south of France. And I found this store. This is called uh, Rive. And I purchased three fragrances. These are the 
three that I like the most. Um, I will be doing a separate review on these. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to love every single one of them. This is Swinging Riviera. Uh, they're all unisex. One is slightly sweeter. Um, in here, you have a beautiful note of jasmine, lemon, magnolia, apple. There's some almond in here. There's some musk, vanilla. Love it. Um, I'm going to do, like I said, a review because I have two samples. They gave me two um, uh, five or six ml samples that I want to talk about as well. Um, and this is Sweet Corset. This is a beautiful caramel, vanilla, but it's still fresh. Um, this fragrance, um, they said it's supposed to remind you of being on the French Riviera. Very solar fragrances, uh, very beachy fragrances, aquatic, all of that. Love them, y'all. Um, I don't know if you can buy them in the U.S. I don't think you can. Um, you might have to order them. Go to the site to see if there's a second, um, like a third party that you can order them from. But this one, I absolutely love. And um, this is Sweet Corset. And uh, this is Summer... Farninti, Farninti. This was my favorite one, y'all. The performance on these, these are all EDTs. Um, the performance on this, they're about maybe uh, these two. This one had the best performance, of course, because this one had the, it's almost gourmand, fresh, solar leaning. Best performance because it's sweeter, more projecting, all of that. This one had an amazing performance as well. This one, eight hours. This one, I got about six hours. This one here, um, Swinging Riviera, I got only about uh, three to four hours from. But these were my two favorite, and it was buy two, get one free, and they were only 40 euros a piece, y'all. But anyway, I love these. Reve, and I'll do a review, a separate review on these, y'all. So anyway, that is it, and that is running like 36 minutes. I hope you guys are still watching, or if you haven't, come back, do it in parts, y'all. Come back and watch it, girl, all right? Um, I think I got everything. Thank you all so much uh, for watching this review. Go follow me on Instagram. It's Marcemello, M-A-R-C-E-M-E-L-L-0-W. I haven't said that in so long, y'all. Um, I appreciate all the love, all of um, my new subscribers, um, my new followers over on Instagram. Go out into the world, spread amazing sillage. Do good, be good, spread positivity, spread light, be the light, y'all. Spread love, and I love you all. Bye-bye. Go spread amazing sillage, everybody, okay? Smell good.